Hello friends. In this video we will learn about force and energy. What happens when you kick a football? The ball moves. The shape of a ball of dough changes when you press it. Let us see the effect of force. Force can make an object move. A ball starts rolling when it is kicked. Force can stop a moving object. A ball stops moving when you catch it. Force can change the shape of an object. Force can change the direction in which an object is moving. There are many different types of forces. Muscular force Gravitational force Mechanical force Elastic force Buoyant force The force which we exert on an object through the contraction of our muscles is known as the muscular force. You use muscular force to move object. To open a door, a horse applies muscular force to pull cart. Gravitational force is the force which attracts objects to the center of the earth. If we throw a ball in the air, it falls down because of gravity. Fruits and leaves falls on ground, we are held to the surface of the earth due to its gravity. Mechanical force is a kind of force that causes the object on which it acts to change its motion or start moving. Hammering a nail uses mechanical force. The force that resists stretching and makes the material go back to its original state is called elastic force. The upward push of water on a floating object is called buoyant force or upthrust. You do work when you push a cart. You have to use force to do this work. This shows that you have to apply force to do work. Less force to move an empty cart and more force to move a cart full of things. The force that tries to stop the movement of objects across a surface is called friction. Simple machines A simple machine is a device that makes our work easier and faster by overcoming a large force by applying a lesser force. Types of simple machines Lever Incline plane Wedge Screw Pulley And Wheel and Axle Let's see all the simple machines in detail. A lever is a rigid rod that helps us to lift and move something with less effort. A lever has three main parts. Fulcrum is the joint of support around which the rod moves. Load is the force that needs to be moved. Effort is the force that needs to be applied. Based on the position of the load, fulcrum and effort, levers are classified into three types. First class lever. Second class lever. Third class lever. In this type of lever, the fulcrum is placed between the effort and the load. The seesaw in your school playground is a first class lever. Scissors, claw hammers, and pliers are other examples of first class lever. 
In this type of lever, the fulcrum is at one end of the rod and the effort is applied at the other end. The load lies between the fulcrum and the effort. Wheelbarrows, bottle openers and nut crackers are examples of second class levers. In this type of lever, the fulcrum is at one end of the lever and the load is at other end. The effort is applied between the fulcrum and the load. Fishing rods, tweezers and tongs are examples of third class levers. Have you ever wondered how the ancient Egyptians lifted heavy stones to build the pyramids? They used a ramp or an inclined plane. A normal person cannot load a heavy box into the rear of a truck easily. But, by placing an inclined wooden plank from the rear of the truck to the ground, the person cannot do this more easily. When two inclined planes meet at a pointed end, a wedge is formed. These wedges are often used in devices that spilt open an object. A knife, an axe and a chisel are examples of wedges. A screw is a curved slope which is wrapped around a cylinder. It looks like a nail with grooves cut in it, with winding edge called a thread. Examples of screws are the screw cap of a bottle and screw jack. Have you ever seen a potter at work? A potter pushes a large wheel around with the foot or a handle, and uses the force of the wheel to give shape to the clay at the center of the wheel. Most machines, for example sewing machines have wheels in it to turn other parts. Some machines, like cars, trucks and trains move on wheels. The wheels used in all these machines have a rod fixed in the center known as an axle. A wheel and an axle together make a simple machine. A pulley is a grooved wheel with a rope running through it. The wheel rotates around a stationary axle. At one end of the rope, the load is attached while on other end, the effort is applied. Pulley can be of two types. When the axle is fixed to some kind of support like a hook or a wall, the pulley is known as fixed pulley. A fixed pulley is used to lift a bucket of water from a well. While in movable pulley, the axle is not fixed to any kind of support. For example, a crane uses both fixed and movable pulleys to lift heavy loads. It is said that Archimedes, a famous Greek scientist, was once challenged by King Aaron of Syracuse to single-handedly drag a large ship up the beach without any help. Archimedes did this with the help of many pulleys. You need energy to do everything walk, talk, sing, run and so on. Energy is the ability to do work. There are many forms of energy in nature. Light energy Heat energy Sound energy Electrical energy Wind energy Water energy Solar energy Light energy is given out by the sun. It is a form of energy which help us to see things around us. The sources of light in our surroundings are sun, bulbs, candles, fireflies and tube lights. You get heat energy when things are burned. Heat energy needed to get warmth, to cook food and to run vehicle. It is obtained from the sun, and also by burning fuels such as LPG, wood, coal, petrol and kerosene. Sound is generated when an object vibrates due to a force applied to it. Sound energy enables us to hear. It can be transferred through a solid, liquid and gas. The sources of sound are audio players, instruments, television and speakers. Electrical energy or electricity is also a kind of energy. It is the movement of electrical charges. Electrical energy is generated at power station. We use electricity to run many appliances and machines at home and in factories. 
Have you seen how a strong wind can move things? We can use the force of the wind to do work for us. Wind can move the blades of a windmill, which in turn can be used to generate electricity or to grind grain. Producing wind energy does not generate smoke and is thus environment friendly. Just as wind can move things, flowing water can also move and carry things. Water is allowed to flow through canals and dams, to turn turbines, which make the generators create electricity. Hydropower is also non-polluting since we do not have to burn fuels to generate it. The energy that we get from sunlight is called solar energy. It can be used to carry out many functions on the earth. Solar panels convert solar energy into electrical energy, which is used to run machines. Hope you understand everything about force and energy. Please do like, share and subscribe our channel. Watch our other videos also, link of the videos given below.